the following chemical energetics question deals with bond energy and the question states uh, that this question should be answered using bond enthalpy data. So we need to refer to our data booklet and uh, as he, uh, the question has already stated that you need to refer to your data booklet to find out the bond energy data. And the question states that the equation for the complete combustion of methanol, methanol is given below. So there's a reaction that's given. This is methanol over here and it's, it's uh, reacting with oxygen and it's producing carbon dioxide and H2O. And we are asked to find what is the enthalpy change of combustion of methanol. The first thing that we need to do is we need to, uh, uh, we need to look at this reaction in a little more detail and draw the displayed formula of each compound. Now, uh, starting with methanol, this is methanol over here, because we need to figure out how many bonds are being broken and how many bonds are being formed. So methanol would be, there's a C double bond O, and this carbon is bonded to two hydrogens. Then you have an oxygen molecule. An oxygen molecule has two oxygen atoms forming a double bond. And then you have your products. One is CO2. CO2 is where one carbon forms double bonds with uh, two oxygen atoms. And then you have an H2O molecule. So your H2O molecule would be an oxygen bonded to two hydrogen atoms. So this is your reaction. I've drawn the displayed formula of each. So I can. it, it would be easier for me to figure out uh, which bonds are being broken and which bonds are being formed. So we're going to first focus on uh, the bonds that are being broken. So let's try and figure out which bonds are broken. So the bonds that are broken, as you can see, there are two carbon hydrogen bonds that would be broken. There would be a C double bond O bond that would be broken. Plus there would be an oxygen double bond oxygen that would also be broken so uh, the amount of bonds that that are broken are two carbon hydrogen bonds that are broken plus i have a c double bond o bond that's broken that's only one and i also have an oxygen double bond oxygen that would be broken now i need to so these are the amount of bonds that are being broken now i need to focus on the bonds that are being formed the new bonds that are formed so bond bonds formed let's try and figure out which bonds are being formed so if you look at the displayed formula you would notice that there's a c double bond o and there's another c double bond o so there are two c double bond o bonds that are being formed plus there is an oxygen and hydrogen bond and there are two oxygen hydrogen bonds one over here and one over here so you have two oxygen hydrogen bonds that are being formed so these are the amounts, these are the bonds that are broken, these are the bonds that are formed. Remember that bond uh, bond breaking is endothermic, so this over here is, the energies would have a positive sign. And this over here, bond formation is negative, so that would have a negative sign. And remember the formula for enthalpy change would be bond broken minus bond formed. So we need to, we need to first refer to the data booklet and find out the energies of all these bonds the amount of energy changes that are involved during bond breaking and during bond formation. So I'm going to refer to the data booklet now. So in the data booklet, if you refer, if you look uh, look up the data booklet, you would notice that the CH bond energy is 410 kilojoules per mole, and that would be multiplied by two because you're breaking two CH bonds. Uh, then you have the C double bond O bond energy, which is 740. And you have an oxygen, double bond oxygen, that, that is being broken. So that's 496. And now I'm going to uh, uh, look at the bonds that are being formed. So there are two C, C double bond O bonds that are being formed. That would be 740 multiplied by 2. And remember to put a negative sign over there because bond formation is exothermic. And then you have an OH bond energy, which uh, is 460. And that is also being multiplied by 2. And that would also have a negative sign because you're forming two OH bonds. So this is the amount of bond energies, uh, the amount of energies that are involved during bond breaking and during bond formation. So the last step in finding the enthalpy of this reaction would be, I just need to sum this up. So it's going to be 410 multiplied by 2 plus 740 plus 496. So this, these are the bond energies involved during bond breaking, minus bond formation, 
which uh, in this case, uh, the reason I'm writing a minus sign is because bond formation is exothermic. So that's 740 multiplied by 2 plus 460 multiplied by 2. Now I just need to use my calculator to come up with an answer for this question. And on my calculator, the answer that I'm getting is minus 344 kilojoules per mole. So this is the answer that I'm getting. This is the final answer and this would be option C in my options. This would be the enthalpy change for this reaction. Uh, so I simply use the formula bonds broken minus bonds formed. And uh, one thing that you need to be careful with is that uh, the recent data booklets have different, slightly different values for bond energies. I'm using an old old data booklet. So when you when you pick these bond energy values, uh, since this is a past paper questions, question, the bond energies might be slightly different and your answer might be slightly off compared to the answers that are, that are given over here. So be careful when you're using bond energies. The newer data booklets have slightly different bond energy values. So um, always remember, if you're getting a slightly uh, uh, different answer, then a, a lot of times this would be the reason why you're getting a different answer.